today's video. I have a very exciting video. It's our favorite video and it is a December favorite. So during the month of December, life is kind of crazy. This past December, I did Vlogmas. And if you are not familiar with Vlogmas, Chloe, sit. So if you are not familiar with Vlogmas, Vlogmas is when I vlog for 25 days straight during the month of December. And then at the end of December, I always do a yearly roundup, which is my favorite makeup, skincare, hair care, fragrance, and luxury. I have posted all those videos. I will link them down below. So because I was doing those favorites, I didn't get a chance to do a December favorite. So let's get right in. I'm gonna start with a few things that I'm actually wearing today. And the first is this fabulous red lipstick darling this lipstick is pat mcgrath's elson and this was my favorite all christmas season all december long i wore it to a holiday party that i had with my friend every time i needed a red lipstick this is what i wore and i'll insert a picture of this lipstick in the screen because i don't have it like right here in front of me but the one thing i will say is that this is not like your typical matte this lipstick does not look matte at all to me. It's more of like a satin finish. I could put a finishing powder on top, but to me, it is not a matte red. I don't know what it is about Elson. It is one of Pat McGrath's matte trans, and I do have other matte trans lipsticks that I love, but to me, this is not my typical matte. It is definitely not a flat color, but I love it so much. I wore it all season long, and it is definitely one of my faves. Okay, next is a nail polish that I've been wearing at Actually for the past two months and this is my favorite red gel nail polish ever this is DD 430 Ferrari red now I actually don't have this color on my nails right now because this was hiding in a makeup bag if you guys have watched previous videos this year I can say that now because it's January. Um, I'm redoing my beauty room. So I have all my beauty products packed up in little makeup bags and in boxes. And I thought I lost this somewhere and I didn't feel like rummaging through my beauty room because I'm filming in a guest room right now, but I found it. So this is the shade I've been wearing for the past two months, DND Ferrari Red. It is my absolute favorite color. I'll take it out so you guys can see. It is a bright candy apple red. It's my favorite holiday color. And I I actually think I will keep wearing red for the next few months. I'm definitely just loving the way red pops on me. I've been wearing a lot more red and you guys have been loving red on me and this is just my favorite perfection. Okay, and the last makeup item or product that I'm actually wearing is one of my newest blushes and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to, no, Cheek to Chic Blush in Walk of No Shame. Now, of course, I have to give a shout out to my guy, Beck. If you guys were watching Vlogmas, you would know that he sent me the most amazing package during the month of December. And I have tried out so many more Charlotte Tilbury products thanks to him. Once again, Beck, I just want to give a huge thank you and some kisses to you because you did not have to do that. But I am so thankful that you did because you opened my eyes to so many amazing Charlotte Tilbury products. And I've even placed an order so that I can try even more products. You guys, this is actually the blush I'm wearing today and I'm obsessed. I love the fact that you have your traditional blush color on the outside, but in the inside you have a shimmer portion. So this is like a blush and highlighter built in one. I am obsessed. Now you guys know it takes a lot for me to love a blush. My favorite brand of blushes is hands down NARS, but the Charlotte Tilbury, like honestly, every Charlotte Tilbury product just makes me glow. Like I am just loving the glow on my cheeks. I am obsessed with this blush. It is definitely one of my favorites. Since I received it in December, I've been wearing this blush every time I get ready and I just can't say enough about it. It is perfection, love it. Okay, now that we have gotten through all the products that I'm currently wearing, a lipstick that I was wearing a fair amount in December as well is this Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Trendsetter. Now I will swatch this for you guys, but you guys know the story if you've been watching my channel for a while. I purchased this lipstick back in November and 
I lost it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if someone stole it from me, but for about two years or maybe a year, maybe I'm exaggerating, I could not find this lipstick. This is my favorite dark nude terracotta shade. It's matte. You guys know how I feel about a good liquid lipstick. This is what I wear in the fall and winter when I have like a shimmery eye or a dark intense eye and I don't want like a stark nude. I just want one shade on my lips, no lip liner, no nothing. This liquid lipstick is gold. I am so happy to have it back in my collection and I wore it out in December. Definitely, definitely a beautiful nude. This is something that I think will look great on any skin tone, whether you are fair, medium, tan, or deep and rich. It just... Okay, let's move into skincare. Let's just jump right in. Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, I think I included this in my yearly roundups for skincare. I have a friend who is obsessed with this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Every time there's a sale, ugh, every time there's a sale, she gets a huge tub of this and she's been doing it for years. And I said, you know what? I think I have a mini size. Let me go try it out. I don't know if I started using this at the end of November or at the beginning of December, but I am hooked, okay? I put it on my hands today before filming because you guys know as soon as I film, I get ashy. Bum Bum Cream is everything. Now, I will say, during the Christmas season, when I had my entire family at my house and lots of cousins, I was washing my hands so much. So this didn't necessarily protect and moisturize my hands too, too well for that purpose. But with a day-to-day, -day, not excessively washing my hands, you know, just staying in the house, not doing a ton of cooking and cleaning, this is perfection. I love that I have this mini container because I'm going to keep this in my car because as soon as I get in my car, I am also ashy. This smells like coconut is the top note, but like buttered pop corn jelly bellies they are the middle notes luckily the scent dissipates as soon as i put it on my body or my hands but i am loving bum bum cream i am a believer this is nothing new but bum bum cream has changed the life of my hands if you have not tried it definitely try it it is rather expensive but if you can catch it on a great sale it's totally worth it okay and the last skincare item i believe <laughs> my for real ufo now if you've been watching my channel during the entire last year you would know that i worked with for real on maybe four or so videos and the ufo 2 is my favorite i love this little device this is basically a smart masking device now my two favorite masks to use with this are the h2 overdose and the glow better which i am almost out of but i will put pictures in the screen the H2 Overdose is great for hydration and the Glow Better is great for glowing, which I'm all about. In December, I was breaking out horribly. And for myself, in combination with the products that I received from the dermatologist, when I'm breaking out, the products I use to rehab my skin are very, very drying. This, in conjunction with using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, perfection. My skin just instantly was hydrated and brightened and this just like, it just rejuvenated my skin, you guys. I know the Ferreo UFO 2 is a little pricey, but if you're looking for a masking device to help you do your skincare, to help you relax, to help you do self-care, this is it. If you are busy, if you just can't find the time to go to the esthetician, to go to the spa, if you can't find the time to do a 30-minute mask because life is just so busy, I understand three minutes or less amazing i love this product okay i lied <laughs> i actually have two more skincare products the first is this eco tools jade roller um i think i purchased something from eco tools maybe in november and i posted it on my instagram i tagged them and they reached out to me and asked if they could send me over a package which i was so grateful for and in the package i received some makeup brushes which I don't like. You guys know I'm always honest. I also received a beauty blender type sponge, which I'm indifferent about. But you guys know I like my products and I'm a creature of habits. But this jade roller I'm obsessed with. I started using it during the month of December when I was using a sheet mask to kind of just roll the product into my skin. It's uber, uber relaxing. This is how I do it. I will insert a picture that I put on Instagram. I did it one skincare Sunday and that is my new way of using a sheet mask when I have the mask applied on my face. Just take your jade or rose quartz roller 
and roll all around your skin. It helps to really work the ingredients into your skin and specifically if you put this in the refrigerator or the freezer, it feels so cooling. I love this little baby. So thank you so much to Eco Tools because this is definitely a staple in my skincare routine. Okay, and the last skincare item, which I don't have with me right now, it's probably in the bathroom, is my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now I told you guys a few minutes ago when I was dealing with a lot of acne and rehabbing my skin, it was so dry. During that time, because I was using so many acne creams at night, I was not putting my moisturizer on at night and my skin was suffering. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream instantly revives my skin you guys and you know that i have oily skin so before the winter time i was only using that cream at night but i was using it like on and off with different other night creams that i have in my rotation but that charlotte tilbury cream is my favorite first of all like i told you the good girl charlotte is all about a glow but there's something about that cream it just makes your skin glow from within it's not a heavy cream now i use the regular magic cream not the magic night cream it's a lighter weight it is just everything you guys if you have dry skin you could probably get away with using it during the day but I have oily skin so even in the winter time I have to walk a fine line between hydration and not to making my skin overly moisturized or anything that will cause it to get oily during the day specifically if I'm going to be wearing makeup but Charlotte Tilbury magic cream hook okay one hair item or hair care products that I'm obsessed with I actually received this for Christmas from my friend and since that night, I haven't stopped using it. This is my Artiste Styling Experience Satin Bonnet. And you guys, she is just everything. Like this is the best, the best bonnet I have ever tried. And what I love more than anything is that this is made by a black woman. Because let's face it, nobody knows the plight of having African American hair like one of our own. And you guys, okay, so let me just go through the bonnet with you. I've shown you guys on Instagram before. I really wear this thing like every night. I'm obsessed. I love that it has this elastic toggle back here because, because sometimes you get a bonnet and it just doesn't fit or it gets too loose after wearing it for a year and it gets stretched out. You don't have to worry about that with this bonnet. It also isn't super tight in terms of it's gonna leave an imprint around your head. It's full satin inside and out. This color is just gorgeous. I am obsessed. Now she does have two sizes of this bonnet. One is for if you have a lot more hair or more thick hair or longer hair. But you guys know I have Miss Lorena Bobbitt right now. Fluff the bob. She's a little oily and dirty, but you can still fluff the bob. So I have the smaller size, but you guys, so guys, definitely check out Artiste Styling Experience. I will leave the website down below. I'll also leave her Instagram across the screen. Now you guys know, I've worked with companies in the past that have sent me silk bonnets. This is a satin bonnet. The material is so thick and luscious. Like, can we get her in Target? Like, I told her that and I was serious. We need to get this in Target. Everyone needs to be able to experience this by just sauntering into their local Target. This is hands down the best bonnet I have ever used. I'm obsessed. I have two shoe type of items. The first comes as no surprise. Once again, if you watch the Vlogmas, if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, I'll put my name across the screen. My Crocs, okay? When I purchased these, I know it was very controversial because the girls did not want me to love these. Now, I know Crocs are very polarizing. You either love them or hate them. So many people said, oh my gosh, you're too fashionable. How do you like them? Let me tell you, I used to be one of those who, I didn't necessarily hate them, but I was just like, oh, it's a Croc, no thank you. Then I purchased these. They're so comfortable. Now I work out in these because I really just walk around and do strength training like in my home. If you see me out and about, I am wearing my Crocs, okay? This is my current favorite pair of shoes. I take them in a size 10. These lavender ones are just so precious. I do need to buy some little gibbets for them. I know you either hate or love them, but I love them and no one is going to change my mind. So I am hashtag croc gang, croc it out. Like, okay, 
game changers. Now, the next shoes that I have been obsessed with for about a month are my Ugg Scuffet slippers. Now look how these babies are shining in the light. Oh my goodness, if you are watching Friend, thank you. My friend gifted me with these slippers in December and I was wearing them during this video, you guys. These are my favorites. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I live in a pair of Ugg slippers. The first time I tried Ugg slippers, maybe five or six or seven years ago, I was hooked. I purchased some for my mom. They are everything. I never saw myself owning a pair of sequin ones because you know, I know these are like $100 slippers and I have my limits. <laughs> so I never saw myself purchasing them, but when my friend sent these to me, I was ecstatic. Now, the one thing I will say is that these are not as warm as the traditional scuffettes, which I will put a picture on the screen. And I think the reason is the top of these is just the sequin material and then something under it, but it's not the traditional like sheepskin, like the regular Ugg material. So they're not as warm, but if you live in a Southern state like myself, these are perfect and they're just so festive. I mean, hashtag fanciest homebody, the OG homebody. I wore these all December long. I wore them on Christmas. I'm going to wear them all year long. These are my new favorite slippers. And honestly, you guys, Ugg slippers are expensive, but they last me three to four years. You can't go wrong with them. You need them. They're everything. The fragrance that I wore all December, Ferragamo's Amo Ferragamo. So I purchased this in December off recommendation from one of my friends who he and I share the same exact scent profile. We love the same fragrance and I actually went to his house October or November, I don't know, one of those months. I smelled this, <laughs> I fell in love. Now someone else smelled this and they said that this reminds them of an orangesicle in a garden or a field of flowers. So this to me definitely smells like an orangesicle but it's also like a floral scent. It is beautiful, it's sparkling, it's feminine. It's a very easy to wear, wearable everyday scent. This is signature scent worthy. It's very sweet. Definitely smells like an orange sickle, but a little more fabulous and classic. Not classic in like ancient, but like a beautiful feminine, just lovely scent. I wore this so many days during December. It's definitely one of my favorites. I will be bringing to you guys a full fragrance haul of all the fragrances that I've gotten in the past month or so because I've acquired about 10 or 11, but this was one of my favorites for sure. Okay, let's get on to some different types of things. I wanna talk about a song that was my favorite this month, Jasmine Sullivan pick up your feelings don't forget to come and pick up your who feelings I feel that in my soul I love Jasmine Sullivan I was listening to her Apple music station Jasmine Sullivan is just everything and I have been obsessed with it I also have a TV show it is called Tyler Perry if loving you is wrong oh my gosh so crazy I watch it every night on my iPad I watch it on Hulu I want to say the show wrapped but I love love that show it's crazy it's dramatic it's very much Tyler Perry soap opera just insane <laughs> but I love it so much so I've been enjoying that and the last thing I have to share with you guys is my Erin Babe sweatshirt like how could I do a December favorite and not include my favorite sweatshirt I just washed it so let me turn it right side out so shout out to my sister. This is her line. It is called Severe by Severe and Erin Babe is one of the Hallmark items. She's definitely expanded her line and I can't wait to pick up a few more things but every time I get ready to I get distracted but Erin Babe will always be my favorite OG style. I have this sweatshirt that I've had now for maybe two years or maybe one year. I have some hoodies. If you watched Vlogmas you know I will leave some pictures in the screen that I lived in this I wore it every Monday when I ran my errands I wore it during the week anywhere I went this is just my favorite I'm not just saying this because she's my sis I'm definitely not a sweatshirt and hoodie type of gal but these are just so soft and comfortable I do take a size extra large in the sweatshirt and it is fabulous I do have a coupon code for you guys and I will link that down below Whew. so that's the end of my December favorites you guys I hope you enjoyed them I can't wait to bring you guys more fabulous finds in January. Let me know what you're loving down below. I love you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.